does, does, should Congress live under the same laws of the land? I say yes. There was an article in the Wichita paper this morning about senior citizens and what the government want, wants to do if uh, you're sick, just send them home and die or euthanize them. I think that's as wrong. God chooses when we die, not the government. Healthcare. The, one of the top advisors to the president came to the Health and Human Services Committee that I am the highest ranking Republican on, and uh, it was Dr. Krugman from uh, Princeton, and he was talking about how we need to have a less cost uh, uh, healthcare system, lower cost healthcare system like the Netherlands. Well, I checked out the Netherlands, and uh, it seems to be, just in summary, uh, once you get to about age 72, they start limiting your health care. And they do give you the option for pain medication or, or they give you the option of euthanasia of ending your life with the doctor's assisted suicide. Uh, to me, that's not a good choice for Americans. Uh, I think we ought to have a natural death in our evening years, like you say. I believe that uh, that's just one of the things that our founding fathers wanted. When they talked about us in, in, talked to us in the uh, nation's birthright, our Declaration of Independence, where they said in the second paragraph, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they're endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these rights are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. They go on to say that governments are formed amongst people to protect those rights. Well, if we start giving people end-of-life counseling like they have in here, starting at age 65 and every five years thereafter, they're going to talk about living wills and about when they can cut off the, the uh, food and water and and uh, they'll talk to people about ending their lives because if you want to lower health care costs from their view and you look at where the costs incur, in, in, the, in the average American's life, about 95% of their health care costs occur in the last six weeks of their life, which sort of makes sense to me. You know, I buy car insurance to take care of the problems. That's why I put money in, and then when I have a, an accident or something, I can pay for that cost. I don't buy car insurance so that I can drive my car to the junkyard. And leave it there. Well, health insurance is the same way. You pay for it throughout your life so that you have it when you need it. And for us to try to, to take that away from people and violate what I think is one of the principal fundamentals of life that are guaranteed to us by our family and fathers and mothers, uh, to me that's a non-starter. And, and so I will support any of that counseling and I'll, I will push for legislation that will allow a natural death.
eventually it will go to uh, every form of health care. But think about that. When you get cancer, they will tailor treatment specifically for you so that you can recover more quickly. But this bill and this chart depicts going to the opposite direction, where it's a one-size-fits-all through comparative effectiveness. They will be determining things like uh, the optimum treatment for a cancer patient or cholesterol, you know, uh, cholesterol, for example, is very common, high cholesterol is very common in America today. Um, and, and the government eventually will just fund one form, maybe it's going to be Lipitor. If Lipitor doesn't work for me, then I'm just out of luck. We want a healthcare system that's going to be able to meet our individual needs and not just a one size fits all. Thank you. 